Have you ever come across a plant, animal, or mushroom that made you curious about what it might be called or what kind of life it leads? That happens to me all the time. So I wanted to share something special in this bonus episode that's a bit different from our normal format. And if you're interested in following our off-grid home build, you can find a new episode on our channel every Saturday morning. This iNaturalist tutorial was inspired by questions from family members about how to use my favorite app. I recommend it to everyone who asks me the name of a flower, a beetle, or a frog they came across in an outdoor adventure. iNaturalist is from the California Academy of Sciences and National Geographic, and you can download it for free in the App Store on your Android or iPhone, or visit the website on a computer. You can set up an account easily on your phone, and you'll need to allow access to the camera and the GPS location for reasons that will become obvious after you see how this works. I've made a new account for the purposes of this public demonstration, so these will be the very first observations added to it. So let's say you find a plant, and you want to know what it's called, or maybe you think you know what it is, and you want to add it to the database to show scientists where you found it. We'll go through an example with my iPhone first, then we'll take a look at the Android version. Let's open the app and take a picture of the plant. On an iPhone, choose Observe with the camera icon, and then choose Camera, because this way the app will record your GPS location along with the image of the plant. That will make it much easier to narrow down the organism by where it lives. I find it helpful to put my hand behind leaves and flowers to help the camera focus on the right spot, but I have not done that here because I happen to know that this plant is poison ivy. Then take your photo and choose Use Photo. Beware that if you choose Retake, the photo is not saved to your camera roll. Now click on What Did You See? Here's where it gets really cool. The app compares the image of your organism with thousands of other photos, taking into account not only what it looks like, but also the GPS location. For some organisms, the app can tell you exactly which species you have found. For example, in this case, the app is pretty sure the plant is a member of the poison ivy group, so I will go ahead and choose that genus name. You might scroll through the suggested options, but don't guess wildly. Just choose the broadest category you are confident about. For example, if iNaturalist is not pretty sure about the group, you can choose a more general placeholder like plants or insects. I usually like to take a few photos to show the organism at different angles or to focus on different parts of it. Here I will take a picture of some newer leaves to go with the one I already saved. Now we can click Share and post the observation so other members of the iNaturalist community can view it. And here is the next really cool thing about iNaturalist. Other people who use the app will weigh in about what you found. For example, people who know a lot about birds will pay attention to the new bird observations in their neck of the woods and people who study insects will pay attention to the insect observations. Once three members of the iNaturalist community agree upon the identity of your organism, your observation is labeled research grade. That means scientists can use it in their studies, and it means you have made a contribution to community science. If you save an observation of a pet or livestock, or something that people have planted on purpose, then it's important to check the box for captive or cultivated because the app is designed for wild organisms and that is the default setting. At this stage, you can also choose to obscure your location for privacy if you wish. Now let's make another observation. This time we'll work with an Android phone. Our previous observation of the poison ivy shows up in the list when we open the account. Now we'll choose the green Add button and select 
Take Photo to open the camera and record a photo with the timestamp and GPS coordinates. Here's the snapshot of another plant on the same roadside. Its leaves come in threes like the poison ivy, but the leaves here have jagged edges and the vines have thorns. Now we'll click on What Did You See? and the app will compare our new photo to the images in its database. In this case, the algorithm has narrowed the plant down to a genus level group that includes raspberries and blackberries. Since there aren't any berries yet to confirm which species to choose, let's go ahead and stick with brambles and let someone more knowledgeable narrow it down further. Since the plant is not cultivated and we're not obscuring the location for privacy, we'll go ahead and click the check mark to save our observation. There are more features of iNaturalist that you can explore on your phone or on the computer, but this should get you started. And I hope you enjoy using the iNaturalist app as much as I do. Please leave your questions and thoughts in the comments, and if you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching!